So what you just heard right there is um, a pedal that I actually just received today from uh, some kind person on eBay. It's the Tech 21 Blonde from their character series. Basically, the reason why I bought this pedal is because as a lot of um, musicians, drummers, bass players, guitarists, as I'm a guitarist, will we'll understand and relate to, uh, transporting stuff is hard. Transporting stuff is difficult and can be very tricky. I play mostly right now, most of the gigs that I, I have are um, duo or trio, mostly backing up a singer. And so the issue that I've had with this with this whole thing is that um, I have a Fender Twin, which is a two by twelve amp. It's it's about 70, 80 pounds, and as you can tell, I live in an apartment, and a lot of people who live in apartments also live in cities. And in my case, that is true as well. I live in Boston, and if you know anything about Boston, you know that parking is ridiculous here which isn't really a good thing when you're trying to make it to a gig on time and you need to drive because you're transporting gear. So drummers, I feel you, sorry they haven't invented anything, you know, quite like this as a solution yet, but for me, I'm hoping it works. I haven't tried it live yet, but this is gonna be my little uh, demo rundown and discovery video for myself, basically. This pedal is uh, advertised as a preamp and then a speaker modeling. I guess these are separate components. This little button here is the speaker model. So um, what I've seen a lot of guys do is do reviews on this pedal. And they're really nice reviews and everything. And they're definitely a lot better quality than mine. But a lot of what they do is they'll just kind of, you know, turn on the pedal and go. say yeah sounds good huh and it's like yeah it does it totally sounds good by itself but you know I'm not interested in it for by itself I'm not playing solo guitar gigs or you know recording solo guitar albums or anything like that I'm generally playing with people and one of the acts I've been playing with actually a Kenyan singer songwriter by the name of Don Ngatia he's on SoundCloud he's got a website I will put links in the bottom and we generally play duo or trio with a percussionist, depending. Um, but, you know, always a small ensemble, really, really small, intimate lineup. So, yeah, that's where I ran into a lot of these issues with transporting the amp, because this music sounds so great with electric guitar, and taking an amp around everywhere isn't so great for an electric guitarist. So my, my idea was to take this, plug it into the PA, I'm basically treating it as an amp right now. I'm running my standard pedals, these these three that have the lights on. These other ones aren't, aren't in the chain right now. This is a uh, full tone, full drive 2 with a MOSFET thingy on it. I'm not using that component of it. I'm not using the boost component. I'm literally just using the comp cut mode, which is the top position on the switch. That basically, I feel like, gives me a little more compression, gives me a little more... Bite. That's what I'm trying to say. That's that's tightening up my sound a little bit. I think that's that's kind of cool, especially with this guitar. It can get very very you know beefy down low. And you need to tighten that up, I guess, for me as much as possible. That's the way I like it. Into a line six, the DL4 here. You know. Standard little quarter note delay thing. I adjust tempos generally at the beginning of the song whenever whoever's counting it off. Um, but that's running into this Holy Grail here. This Holy Grail is my reverb pedal. Shout out to Danny Divoli, who is one of my best friends ever, who actually, crazy guy bought me this pedal. I can't remember if it was for Christmas or for my birthday or something like that, but he actually was working at Guitar Center at the time. But he bought me a pedal. And I was like, damn, that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and I've been using it a lot. I, this has made it on a lot of albums. The ridiculous effects you can get out of it, and it's just a really nice sounding reverb. I have this all running before this blonde. Generally, what they say is that you want to run your time-based effects like delay and reverb in your effects loop, so after the preamp, and considering this is the preamp. But I'm running it before because I noticed that th these are these mix knobs, they're mix knobs. They're not the level of effect that's coming in. It So if you want a heavy mix, it will literally bring down your dry signal and bring up your affected signal. And I feel like that sucks tone a little bit. 
so I want to run them before just so I'm not you know undoing what I did with this with this tech 21 pedal here basically to get back to what I was saying earlier about Don Ngatia, singer-songwriter from Kenya. We just did an album, so I have the tracks. What I did is I removed the guitar from the final mixes. Remove the guitar, I'm going to play the guitar again over these tracks, live for you guys on YouTube. And we're gonna actually hear what it sounds like in context. And I think that will be a valuable, valuable lesson for us. Basically, um, it sounds pretty good. It's 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 very similar to the sound that I had in the album, which was actually recorded through a real amplifier with real speakers, with real microphones in a real studio. And this actually does it justice, pretty much. I mean, it's the same guitar, it's the same player, and everything, so it's not going to be too different. But I like it. it I, I think it works. The only things that jump out to me, you know, right off the bat are just kind of the overtone structure of this pedal compared to, you know, an amp like a twin especially, which is just really rich. On single notes, this sounds very clean. Which is cool because I'm playing it clean, but you get a little more movement, you get a little more kind of depth of sound on an actual amplifier. It goes, but then it kind of stagnates. It doesn't really, you know, develop as far as the chord. But you know what? For what it is, I think it's very cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play a portion of the song then I'm going to basically turn off everything uh, while the song's still running, play with all the effects off, then turn them back on. Um, so we can kind of hear like a little difference going on. So let's try that with the chorus. Leaving him at times to clean a dirty night. But he is still impressed. She's from Venus, he's from Mars, but on earth. He's like daytime, he's like night, but love over and over again. Mushroom clouds and ocean tides may leave this world, deep divide, but love, love never dies. The birds and bees may soon forsake this earthly vein, a barren space, but love, love never dies. They throw caution to the wind for on that love they can depend it lives. It's a lie. She's from Venus. He's from Mars. So basically, in summation of everything, um, as we've heard, I like you know, I like it. It it definitely does its thing. I'm very curious to try it out live, as I have not tried it out live yet. Um, see how it really sounds coming through some big speakers on a, on a stage. I think it would be very cool. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. And um, yeah, until next time, see you later.